3.30 in the morning and I thought Baker's had a hard life. <laughs> but I'm going to get up, I'm going to do it, go to the fish market and find out what I can get into. I can't wait to see what they do this early in the morning. <laughs> It always fascinated me to see how fish markets work. Fishermen bring their catch to market at 3am and the fish markets sell it at auction a few hours later. We're in Piermont, New South Wales at the iconic Sydney fish markets. They supply a huge number of world-class restaurants and local fish and chip shops with the freshest fish of the day. Kelly and I sat in the auction bleachers while she explained a few of the ropes. The way that the auction works, we've got mud crabs, lobsters down here, prawns are usually set up in the middle, blue swimmers, um, your mollusks. Um, this morning we saw some really lovely sea urchin down there. They're live, they're still wriggling, oh, huge. Um, Where did they come from? <laughs> we get a lot from the south coast of New South Wales. The guys were really excited at the start of the auction. The atmosphere was very lively. The auction is run by a large screen of time and dollar amount fashioned after the Dutch auction clock. This ensures that each product sells quickly and for the optimum price. Heading down to the floor, Kelly took me on a tactile tour teaser of some of the fish before handing me over to the official tour guide, Alex. You touch it Beautiful. and feel the oil in it. Oil is good. That is incredible. <laughs> if you have a look in here, this is the tuna. Again, quite oily. Oops, nice tuck that red. one back in. No one will notice. A grade is still fantastic eating. Mm -hmm. The A grade, um, when they come through, as I said, they're very, very excited up there. They're like, come on, let's get on to it. Alex operates the behind the scenes tours each weekday at 6.40 a.m. sharp. And if you're game for getting up that early, it's well worth the trip. So this is the pearl perch. Right. It's Glaucosima scapulare. So there's only three fish in its family, Glaucosima, as in deriving from the Greek meaning sugar. They only live in Australia, they all taste amazing. So already scientifically it's known for being sweet and the flesh is bright white, briny sea flavor, but just sweet. Two, and I'll show you this is an important rule of thumb with fish. See his mouth? Mm-hmm. Watch. He's not open. When he does open, <laughs> it's a big bucket, what they call wow. persiform mouth. That's incredible. I did not expect that. No. The good thing is, any fish with a mouth like this that opens up wider than its head that's really unnecessarily big is an omnivore. So it eats a lot of different things. Okay. When you eat a lot of different things, you have a neutral flavour. I found myself amazed and almost like a deer in headlights as Alex took me through the floor. He knows a scary amount of detailed fish facts, and I was thoroughly entertained. And he gave me a few interesting details on just which body parts we eat from a sea urchin. Let's just say it was the jewel in the crown. This is a sea urchin, and this has been hand-dived in the south coast of New South Wales. If you eat the Tasmanian ones, you're helping the environment. Uh, because they're, they're a pest species in Tassie, they come south from the mainland. Um, they taste, they're creamy, they're sweet, they're like getting dunked in a shore break, they're salty, they're briny. It's unmistakably seafood, but quite different. Right. Uh, and thirdly, there's a chemical in these called anandamide. Get a half a dozen, get a hammock, Sunday afternoon, bottle of rosé. Well, considering what you're actually eating. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense, right. <laughs> right. Thank you for that. No worries. <laughs> When you finish the tour, the sun is up and it's time for brekkie. 